lot of people, creating a website is but the first step. Once we have a site up, it's got some great content, we've got some visitors. The next logical step is, of course, to monetize our website. And we can do that in any of a number of ways. Those of you who've obviously used Excite Pro for a while, version 2.x, you will know that we have tools such as Google AdSense, Oxado, Amazon Product Advertising, and PayPal Buy Now buttons to help you monetize your page content, to turn those visitors into revenues. Well, there's a new way now that you can do it too, and it's using a brand new feature exclusive to version 2.5, and that is the ClickBank product link tool and the ClickBank Hop Ads tool. And I'm going to show you how we use both in just a matter of a couple of minutes to monetize our websites. First off, let's just familiarize ourselves with what we mean by monetization. Here we have on the left-hand side in our page layout design, a Google AdSense block. I'm just gonna highlight that now with this red arrow. And you can see that obviously, whilst it's a placeholder in this page design, in this preview, when we actually publish the site, of course, Google will swap in some relevant contextual adverts there for us on the left-hand side. Given the content theme of my site, that is aromatherapy, those ads are more than likely to be targeted to that keyword theme, aromatherapy. The reason being that if there's a correlation between the adverts and the topic of my site, the click-through rate is likely to be pretty good. Okay, by the same token, what we want to be able to do with our ClickBank ads, and for those of you, of course, who don't know, ClickBank is a huge affiliate product network that you can actually choose a product from, refer people to that product sales page, and if they then go to buy, you'll get a kickback in terms of a commission. That's how the affiliate model works. So what we want to be able to do with ClickBank is by the same token, we want to find relevant products either manually or automatically. So we want to find products that are going to um, appeal to the people who happen to be on our site. If everything that we're doing about this site in this example, the aromatherapy site, if it's bringing in people around a keyword theme, we want to leverage that theme in our advertising. Let's see how easy it is to do now using this brand new ClickBank tool. It's really exciting. All I want to do, because I'm going to replace this Google AdSense block with a ClickBank product, is uh, to head into my left panel here and open the designer window. Okay, so here we have our left panel. You can see that uh, right there is the Google AdSense block, which I've just selected and deleted. Now, where we would like our ClickBank product link, our product details to appear, I'm going to simply right click and from the right click menu that appears, I'm going to go to insert advertising, the ClickBank sub menu, and we've got the two options here, ClickBank product or ClickBank hop ad. I'm going to show you both so you'll see how powerful they both are. The first one here, ClickBank product, if I select it, brings up a simple module here. It's just three very simple steps. The first of which is to search for a product. Now, if the first time that you load this module, you can do a simple one-time download of the ClickBank product list. It's about three and a half megabytes. It takes just a minute or so to download on a reasonable connection to the internet. Having done which, right from within Excite Pro, you're gonna be able to do a simple search on a keyword. So I've just searched here on aromatherapy and wouldn't you know it, there's a whole bunch of products on ClickBank that returned for the keyword aromatherapy. That is, they're either in the title or the description of the product. And so ClickBank's determined, or Excite Pro in conjunction with ClickBank, has determined that these are relevant results for that term, okay? They're likely to appeal to some extent to somebody that's on an aromatherapy website. And we can order these by all sorts of different things, rank gravity earnings and so on. Uh, and we can, you know, use this information to choose which product we want to promote. Here's one that's got a, a high rank. Um, it's got a not so great gravity, uh, but it's got good earnings. So let's just go with that for the purposes of this demonstration. So this is a product called Learn the Power of Aromatherapy. It's a reasonable assumption, wouldn't you think, that given the nature of the content on this sample site that I've got right now, that there is this correlation between this product and the visitor. So I go ahead and click Next, having selected a product. And you can see here that straight away, Excite Pro has grabbed the hop link, that is the unique link for this product that will credit me for the sale by way of a commission if somebody clicks on the link and goes through to buy. And it's doing that for the particular account that I have selected here. This is a, a test account that I've set up just to demonstrate this uh, to you. Now, you can actually, of course, add a new ClickBank account. And it's a one-time process. Uh, once you set a ClickBank account in Excite Pro, it'll remember it forever. So you can use it across all of your ClickBank advertising. And you do that simply by clicking that Manage Accounts button, as I did there, clicking the Add button here and filling out the details. It's a two minute process. And as I say, it's a one time process. So once you set that account up, as I've got a couple here, you can then select the relevant account from the drop down. 
And having selected that account, uh, Excite Pro gives you an appropriate link that is going to credit that account at ClickBank uh, for every sale. We can also um, we can also um, uh, change the link text because this particular insertion, this particular uh, ClickBank product link, is a hyperlink that's going to take somebody through to that product. So I could say, you know, click here to find out more if I wanted to. Uh, I could change the link style, make it no follow so we don't bleed page rank. And uh, I could even insert some tracking code which will help me determine which of my product links is driving sales when I look at my ClickBank sales reports. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, link directly to the uh, the product sales page, the order page rather, if I was pre-selling people on my page here and wanting them to go straight to the shopping cart. So I'm happy with those settings and now that I am I just go ahead and click next and what's really cool here is Excite Pro is giving me the option as you can see here to do two things. It can go grab some images from the product sales page, it could even grab a thumbnail of that product page website. All I'm going to do is click the grab images button and Excite Pro is going to shoot off automatically in the background and go grab the images that it thinks is are appropriate uh, for this product. And sure enough, here's a nice looking pack shot. I'm going to select this one. It actually has a white background, which isn't great for my left panel, but it'll illustrate the, per the, uh, the point just perfectly. Having selected it, I click OK and it's added that to my resource manager and to the web page just about where I want the link to appear. And that's it, simple. If I click the insert button right now, we not only have the ClickBank product link inserted, we also have that image uh, to help sort of uh, visualize the product to which we're linking just there. So that done, all we need to do is go ahead and click OK and drop into the uh, page layout tab again and see how that looks. Let's do that right now. And sure enough, here we have the click here to find out more that we just created, uh, that link, and also the pack shot beneath it. Okay, nice and simple. So in essence, if I just preview that page right now, what will happen when somebody comes along to our web page, just as they might have had they looked at the Amazon product advertising or the Google AdSense advertising, they're going to see the carefully positioned advert for this product in this demonstration. I've just popped it underneath my navigation here. And they might say, well, hey, I, you know, I wanna find out more. In clicking this link, there's another observation I need to make, and that is that cleverly, Excite Pro, as you can see in the status bar here of this window right now, it actually hides the affiliate link, uh, which some people are reversed to clicking on, behind a redirect within Excite Pro. You can see the link at the bottom there is actually 10-learn-the-power-of uh, hyphen a hyphen zero zero one dot html it's a lot more innocuous a link than uh, having a you know an outright affiliate link so it's actually masking the affiliate links for you as you go and if i click that link you'll see it takes me right through to the redirect and then as you can see in the page here to the landing page via the affiliate code as i mentioned so very simple very powerful and it took just a few minutes to insert that into our web page so that's the standard clickbank product links you can see how we can search for select customize and insert those links but what about the hop ads this is another powerful feature of clickbank that we can utilize within excite pro to insert a hop ad all we need to do is within the page where we'd like that hop ad to appear let's choose an article just to uh, keep things nice and simple here we select the, the page that we want to insert the, uh, the hop ad in. Let's just create a line break and say that we want to punctuate this article, which is you know several paragraphs long, with an advert. We want the advert, of course, to be relevant to our products, our site, the keywords on our site. Once again, what we're going to do is drop into the uh, advertising menu, the ClickBank submenu, and this time, instead of selecting ClickBank product, I'm going to select hop ad. And once again, we'll see a new module exclusive to version 2.5 Excite Pro. And we've got two options here. The first option, as you can see on the left-hand side there, is to have an almost AdSense-like block of ads that are relevant to a particular keyword theme, which we'll set up on step two. The second option is to have a three-tab version of the same. It's a little bit more stylish looking, and it gives us a, a, bit more, uh, a bit more of an option to squeeze in more ads by having these tabs here. So we can specify uh, the, the names or the categories of these tabs and automatically ClickBank is going to populate those tab sections with advertising content, all of which will be firstly relevant to our website content, uh, to the keyword theme that we specified. And secondly, it's going to feature our affiliate links. So should anyone click on any of these links, be, the, be it the basic hop ad or the tabbed hop ad, uh, they're going to um, credit us with a commission for any resultant sales.
So I'm gonna go ahead and insert in this demonstration a tabbed hop ad, the more advanced of the two, and click next. And what we have here is the option to title uh, each of those tabs. So let's say essential oils, um, let's uh, for the second title, let's have aromatherapy. Um, let's have massage oils uh, for the third tab, okay? And we can just use those same uh, same keywords there for our keyword selection too, so that we're basically what they're clicking on on the tab, they're getting uh, in terms of a, a keyword theme set of ads. We could also have tracking ID if we wanted to, so that we could identify sales that come from this site uh, as having come from this specific ad block. And then uh, having selected my account, I'm going to use the default there. I just click next and we could, of course, customize the style. Uh, we might want to make this one a little bit wider to accommodate my tabs there. And uh, you can see here we have already an example of ads that are being pulled in. And of course, they look absolutely on the money. They look totally appropriate. I'm going to make it a little bit wider just to sort of fill a bit more of the page. Uh, we could specify we want more rows or less rows. We can see that we can customize it to blend it into the style, the look and feel of our web page content. And having changed those settings, all I need to do is click finish and that's it. We have the ClickBank hop ad inserted into our page. And previewing that page right now to see how that looks when it's actually in the browser, we'll see it looks absolutely fantastic. Here, here's the uh, the article page that we inserted that into, and sure enough, there we have it. A nice, neat block of ads breaking up the content nicely, and this sort of device is well proven to work uh, because obviously partway through the ad, partway through the content, having an ad break, the content uh, uh, being completed after the ad break, you'll find that you'll get a reasonably good click-through rate. Certainly something worth testing, and if you can match the ads perfectly to the nature of the article, then you obviously stand a, a chance of getting a reasonable conversion through to clicks. So there are tabs. And once again, remember, uh, we've got the, uh, the affiliate ID embedded in all of these links. So if I decided, hey, that looks interesting, having read this article about essential oils, if I click this essential oil course link, you'll see that it takes me through. And once again, if you look at the URL at the top of the page, there is our hop ID in that Em em embedded in that link. So were I to go on and purchase this product, uh, there'd be a kickback for the sale. So two very powerful new ways in version 2.5 of Excite Pro to further monetize our content, not just with a range of great quality products from ClickBank, but really, really quickly too.